As you know, I love reading your comments. And recently, some of you have been asking in a very straightforward way, how the hell are you getting so many dates on dating apps? You're not even good looking, which I certainly appreciate. I definitely appreciate the feedback. And I'm gonna tell you, it's really not that tough. And I think anybody can do it. If I can do it, anybody can do it. I've been very, very fortunate in my ability to attract lots and lots of women throughout my life. My ex-wife, to most of you, would be considered a nine or a 10. She is extraordinarily beautiful, even to this day. She still works as a model and as an actress. So it's possible to not necessarily be the most good looking guy, the tallest guy, the six pack abs guy, or the richest guy, and still get lots and lots of beautiful women. So let's talk about dating apps, since that's the way most people meet these days. And I've met a ton of women on dating apps since my divorce. Been on many, 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 many dates. And I've had a great time with, in most of them. I mean, most of them didn't work out, but it was interesting and fun, and it was good practice to do it. So when I was in college, I worked in commission sales. And there is no better way to learn about human nature than sales, especially when your income depends on you making a sale. So it's very similar to dating. And if you can take these simple principles and apply them to your dating app experience, you're gonna find that your success rate skyrockets. So first, you need to get an appointment. Nobody makes a sale until you get the appointment. Now, the way you get a dating app to work for you to make appointments is you've got to create the best possible profile. And most guys are idiots. They take a selfie and they post it and then they start browsing. They write a few words about themselves, nothing all that exquisite, and they're surprised that nobody's interested. Well, first of all, selfies are not pictures. They're not good photographs, so don't ever take a selfie and put your selfie up there, especially as your profile pic. You're gonna need to put a little more time and energy into it than that. So you are the product. The app is the app medium of advertising, how you're gonna get your appointments. And then from there, we're gonna have conversations about how you um, close the appointment and set the, uh, the next appointment. But let's start with the basics. Number one, if you're the product, you're gonna to have to make the product as attractive as humanly possible. Most of you are probably overweight, you probably don't have a nice haircut, and you may not even have nice clothes, especially if you're a younger guy. You're not gonna find a nice girl wearing a tank top and basketball shorts. Girls aren't interested in you. That's not gonna do it. You're gonna to have to invest in some nice clothes. You're also gonna to have to invest in some decent pictures. Now you don't need to hire a pro, but you're gonna need somebody to take a lot of pictures of you. Women on social media take hundreds, if not thousands of pictures of themselves before they post a single one. Men don't give a shit, they don't do that. So you're way out of practice. In order to find three or four good pictures of you, you're probably gonna to have to take two or 300 pictures. Yeah, I know that sounds ridiculous, but honest to God, that's what it's gonna take. And I know it seems ridiculous and silly, but if you wanna get a date on a dating app, that's what you're gonna to have to do. Some of the dating apps will allow you to upload video. Now, if you can upload video, it's a great opportunity to really make a good first impression. However, it's also a great opportunity to screw it up. So if you're gonna do a video, I would suggest that you practice that. Take 10 or 20 takes, get what you're gonna say down to a smooth science, and then record yourself um, over and over and over and over again, and then pick the best video. Getting used to talking to a camera is weird. It really is. Um, it's one of those things that takes some practice, and until you get the hang of it, um, you're gonna look awkward, you're gonna look uh, stiff, like you are um, being held hostage. <laughs> That's sort of what I see 
when I look at new YouTubers, I look back at my old YouTube videos, I've definitely got that uh, Stockholm Syndrome look in my eyes. Like, oh no, someone's gonna kill me if I don't get this right. Anyway, so if you can do a video, definitely do a video. So you've gotta make your profile as engaging as possible. I would include animals with your pictures, you and an animal together, is very, very important. If you don't have an animal, dog, cat, doesn't matter what you got, girls like them all, borrow a friend's dog or cat, get a family member's dog or cat. Just get some pictures of you in a nice position, holding, petting, whatever, some dog or cat. Women love that shit. All right, so let's go back to the product for a minute, talking about you. So your clothes are gonna be really, really critically important, especially for your photographs. Um, think in terms of who it is you're trying to attract and what kind of guy is she gonna to wanna to be with. Um, you're gonna to need to wear something that looks like that. So you don't need to spend a ton of money on clothes, you just need to look neat. Um, I would definitely go shopping with a woman, if you know a woman, like a sister or somebody, a friend, and have her help you pick clothes out because probably you are colorblind and you are style-ish. No, lacking style. So um, you're definitely gonna want a woman, especially one that um, is aware of what you're looking for to help you uh, pick out a, uh, an outfit. A haircut too. You're gonna have to have a good looking haircut. You know, try to find something that is um, pretty up to date, you know, kind of let go of your vision of what you're supposed to look like and let a really good stylist, I mean, someone's gonna charge you 100, 150 bucks to style and, and cut your hair, do the job for you. Let them just take control of your head and, and give you a haircut to make you look good. And be straight up with them saying, hey, look, I'm trying to meet some nice women. I need you to give me a haircut that really enhances my appearance. What can you do for me? and let them do it. Now, initially, when you get the first cut, you know, it's always gonna be a little shorter than what you would ideally like. That's just the way it goes. But in a week or two, it'll grow out. In the meantime, start thinking about um, your dates. So, in order to um, impress a woman, if you get someone to respond to you and you talk to her or chat with her online, you need to have a couple of dates pre-planned in your head. So start working on that now, long before you even sign up for the app. Get your dates sorted out. Know exactly what you're going to do. And I would suggest you have three different types of dates. You've got one that is at a really nice restaurant um, in a really nice part of town that's gonna cost you a couple of hundred bucks to eat there. And um, they've got nice lighting. Go and stake the place out so you know exactly what it looks like and what it feels like to walk around in there. Maybe even, um, just go and sit down and have a meal there yourself at lunch sometime and, and get a feel for the place so that you're not walking into something that you're not familiar with. Um, get to know the, the employees there, you know, get to know the waiter, the people who are busing, the um, maitre d', whatever, the, you know, the, the, the host or hostess. Start to make yourself comfortable in that position so that you know what you're getting into. Um, the second kind of date is gonna be a uh, a casual lunch. So a casual lunch is for those women that you think might be good, but you're not really sure that you want to invest $200 in. So you think, but this one might be a good one, but I can't really be sure. It looks like she's wearing a filter or she's using a filter on her camera. She may, you know, look like, you know, the, the rear end of a, of a horse or whatever. So I don't want to get myself committed to a big, a big date. So um, that's going to be a lunch at a nice cafe, again, in the same part of town. If it's cool enough or it's warm enough to be outdoors, then I would definitely do an outdoor date. It definitely makes the lighting better for you. So lighting that's best for first dates are either you know, um, dim restaurants or natural light outside. That's where you're gonna look the best. You do not wanna try to meet a woman in a um, place where you've got a lot of those LEDs or um, you know, those old uh, uh, you know, lights you have in your office. Those things suck. You do not wanna have, you don't wanna have your picture taken in those situations either. Um, then the third kind of date is going to be a coffee date. This is going to be for women who are too afraid to meet you at the restaurant, but you definitely still are interested in them. So you're going to 
give them some lever, level of control and allow for the coffee date. The coffee date is a woman's way of saying, yeah, I'm interested enough to meet you, but I'm a little bit afraid, or maybe I'm not sure that I will want to take this any further. So she wants to be in a place where there is almost zero chance that this date's going to advance to a trip back to your place. And if the woman is attractive enough to you and she's someone that you're interested in meeting, then relent to the coffee date. I would still push for the, the, um, the nighttime date, the, 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 the expensive date, but if they're not willing to do it, then you know, do the coffee date and then try to close the, the dinner date at the coffee date. So again, all we're trying to do is get the appointment. Now, before you get the appointment, you're gonna to need to get them to actually respond to you on the app. To do that, when you're going through the profiles of women, you have got to write them something unique and engaging as a text message, as a part of your like. You can't just like a girl and expect her to get back to you. She will not get back to you. Women are getting dozens or even hundreds of likes per day. And you're not gonna be getting anybody responding to you with that. So you're gonna have to read her profile, so you're gonna have to take some time, you're gonna have to find something about her that's unique or interesting, and you're going to have to engage with her in a text exchange to find out if there's anything there. If you ask a woman a question about something in her profile, you will increase your likelihood of getting a response by, I don't know, two, three hundred percent easily. Um, I go through profiles and I just find something about them that I can tell they're really proud of and just make a little comment about it. Hey, I see you really enjoy riding horses. You know, um, my kids like riding horses too. You know, I'd love to go riding with you sometime. Where do, or where do you ride? That's a good one. Just ask them questions. Don't try to come on to them. Just ask them questions. Women feel compelled to answer your questions. As soon as they start answering your questions, well, now you're going to start a dialogue with them. It's important, I think, in the initial uh, contact that you don't try to close anything with them. Don't try to set a date. Don't try to make a date, anything like that. You're just going to try to engage with them in a chat-like conversation. Um, don't tell them you think they're pretty. Don't even get into any of that shit. Just start talking to them about whatever they've written about in their profile. They will respond to you at a very high rate. Now, these responses may not turn into dates, but they're gonna turn into chats to start with. So they're gonna chat back and forth with you, and after doing that a couple of times, I think it's really important to kind of um, take it to the phone, because you're gonna to have to get them on the phone before anything moves any further. And say, hey, I really enjoy chatting with you, but let's take this on the telephone so we can actually have a flowing conversation. You know, um, texting is for kids. I don't wanna you know, spend my life texting you. Would you mind if I gave you a call or you can give me a call? A lot of these women already have voice over IP numbers, so they're not gonna give out their real number because they never wanna do that. And they use these voice over IP numbers specifically for dealing with dating apps. I mean, a lot of these women are very, very proficient at it. So you'll get the voice over IP number. You might even be texting with her on a voice over IP number at certain times. And you can tell because you'll always get that, if you've got an Apple phone, you'll always get that like Android return, except that the communication is much, much slower. It's much more delayed. Um, so take it to the phone. Do not try to close a deal in text messaging. That will not work 99% of the time. You're gonna to have to take it on the phone. If someone refuses to talk to you on the phone, end the conversation. There's no point. There's a really good chance that you're talking to some guy in Romania and he's just playing with you. He's trying to get you to engage with him on some level, give you a credit card or a number. He's gonna tell you some sad story about how his mother's got cancer and how in Romania the healthcare sucks and one thing will lead to another and you're saying, boy, I'd really love to go out with you, but if you could just help my mom, I'm telling you, you're gonna get those sad stories. Just, if they won't talk to you on the telephone, they're not worth your time. It can't go anywhere until you get them on the phone. Um, let me just think about that for a minute. So where are we? So we've got your pictures, we've got your profile. All right, in your profile, you're gonna have to write a little bit about yourself. Certain things, you know, the, the app is gonna ask you about, you know, where you went to school, what your education is like, that kind of stuff. Um, talk about things that are engaging to, to women in your profile, you know? Um, things that would be really important that you wish that they knew about you that make you stand out from all the other guys. So if you're into animals or dogs or cats or whatever, then I would definitely bring that up. 
You know, especially if you saw something in her profile, and the gnats are just crazy today. It's like they've all been hiding in the cold weather. Now it gets warmer, the gnats are everywhere. But um, yeah, you're definitely gonna need to stand out in your profile. Talk about things about yourself that are, um, make you more approachable. That's the key thing. You want to be approachable. Taking on a alpha tone from the very beginning, especially on a dating app, will likely get you labeled as a misogynist right from the beginning. So you, you can't pull that one out right away. Um, there'll be plenty of time to use your red pill skills once you start to develop the relationship. But when you're trying to set the appointment, you don't want to scare away the customers. Do you know what I mean? So do not buy a six month or a 12 month membership to one of these apps. You want to do this maybe a couple of months at a time. You do not want to be on that app for too long. You will notice that if you do your profile right, you do a really good job with your pictures and you do a nice job um, writing out your personal information on the profile, you will get a, um, a lot of likes during the first week that you're on the app. I've noticed that um, when I get on the apps, during that first week, I will generally get somewhere between 10 and 20 likes um, that first week. Now, and it starts to drop off after that. So uh, use that first week to your advantage. Um, engage with as many of these women as you possibly can. Um, think about it like batting practice, you know? So everybody wants to hit a home run in the game, but you're not gonna hit too many home runs unless you've been standing in front of that you know, that pitching machine swinging a lot. So get out there and go on dates, even with women that you're not necessarily attracted to. There's a really good chance they're gonna be fine women, you're gonna to talk to them, you're gonna take them on that second date or that third date, you know, the um, second level or third level where you're gonna do the lunch or you're gonna do the coffee. Don't even offer them the big date. Um, but use the, the less expensive dates to give yourself some practice of making conversation and getting in front of people. It makes such a difference when you finally get to the ones that you really want, if you've already kind of, you know, honed your skills a little bit. Because once you um, get in front of that one that you think might be the one or someone that you're really interested in, you don't want to be stumbling over your conversation. You want to have your game worked out. You want to have the, you want to have practiced this conversation at least a few times so that you know what you're going to say and when you're going to say it. And you can predict what the kinds of responses are going to be so you know how to respond to those. Um, it's really, really just all about making a sale. The most important thing on the date is you just ask questions. Women love to talk. If you find yourself talking a lot on a date, you're doing it wrong. You always let the customer talk. So the sales process is once you set the appointment, um, you need to do a, you need to get to know the client well, so you want to build rapport, then you're going to do a little needs analysis, figure out what it is they want, and this conversational thing is all about both building rapport and figuring out what they're looking for. And then when you start offering solutions, this is going to happen on the, the third or fourth date. This isn't going to happen on that first date. The whole purpose of the first date is to get to the second date. Do not try to sleep with the girl on the first date. You might be able to, but don't make that your goal. Make the goal of the first date to make a second date. And then on the second date, make the goal of the second date to get to a third date. After the third date, then the door really starts to open for most women to move to the next level and to, to include some sex in the relationship. Um, by moving more slowly, but being confident, Act like you know that you're going to um, be successful whether she goes along with you or not. Like don't, don't act like she's the only one. Act like, like you've been there before. Uh, damn, Jax, he jumped off the... I'm standing on a ledge and uh, Jax just went off the ledge into the water. Dude, you can't get up that way. Come this way. Oh, you can get up that way. Holy shit. Good for you, man. All right. So, um, 
Now you're definitely going to want to have goals in mind for each date. So in the beginning, it's all about getting a response uh, off your app. Once you get that response off your app, the real goal is to make the appointment. You've got to advance from texting to the phone. And then from the phone, you've got to advance from the phone to at least one of your three pre-planned dates based on the quality of the woman that you're dealing with or how attracted you are to her or whatever. Um, if the date goes well the first time, then date number two is where you're going to advance to. And if date number two goes well, date number three is when you start moving really, really close to kind of closing the deal. You've got to have in mind that if you're going to have a physical relationship with a woman, that you may need to be three to five dates in. So you might be several hundred dollars out before you get there. Um, start looking for other ideas for second and third dates. Things that occur outside are great because they tend to be less expensive. Um, don't try to overwhelm her with your, with your money. She doesn't really give a shit about that as long as you're making a really good impression. What's really important is that she's having fun, that you offer her a lifestyle and you show her a lifestyle that she's going to be interested in. And that comes from uh, the way you're talking, the things that you do, your interests, um, the car that you drive, the neighborhood that you live in, the job that you have, all of those things are gonna play a significant role. The last little bit of advice I'd offer is play this like a game. Do not take any of this stuff personally. You do not want to be thinking that if you get rejected, that it's a personal thing. It's not. Think about it like a video game or you know, you're playing a board game with your friends, whatever. If you win, you lose, whatever, you just play again. You just don't, don't give up and don't take shit personally. Everything is an opportunity to get better. So whatever negative feedback you get, just internalize that as a critique of your approach and move on to the next one and make the adjustments appropriately and move on to the next one. Do not allow yourself to take the crap that you're gonna get from some of these women personally. A lot of them are psychos. You don't need to tell them they're psychos. Someone else will do that. Just be polite, move on to the next one. Um, when you get to date number three or four, somewhere in that range, I would strongly recommend that you prepare a meal for her. Whether you um, actually fix the meal yourself, which is the ideal, but if you can't cook or you don't feel comfortable in your ability to cook, then um, you order in a really, really wonderful meal and you plan out a really romantic evening at your place. That will be how you close, close the deal. That'll be the big one. And it's probably gonna be date number four or five before that happens. Don't get trigger happy with that. You do not want to jump the gun. Um, if you jump the gun, you're gonna, um, you might lose the whole deal. Sales is human nature and people want to buy. Women want to commit to a relationship. They want you to commit to them. They want to offer what they have in exchange for what you have. That gets you into a relationship. I'm not gonna go any further than that because obviously I could go on for hours but I hope that gives you a little bit of an insight into how easy it is to use dating apps to meet lots and lots of women. Just remember, it's a numbers game. It's not personal. Just play it like a game and you'll be fine. If you stood on a street corner and you asked a thousand women if they would go out with you, you would get a certain number of dates just randomly. Someone is gonna say yes to you. This is much easier than that because you're gonna get the chance to put your best face forward on this dating app. Don't jump into the dating app until you have made it a masterpiece. I mean, it has to be perfect. Your best pictures, wearing your best clothes, with your best friends, if you got pictures of you with other people, critically important. Pictures of you doing things, critically important. Selfies are not acceptable. Do not take a picture of yourself with your hand except maybe one, maybe one, but that can't be your profile picture. You've gotta have pictures of you doing something. Include pictures of you with animals, pictures of you going places, doing things. Show that you have a life. Do not make them think that you're standing there in your bathroom after you just finished masturbating, taking a picture of yourself. That's not the way to do it. That's not gonna capture anybody's attention. No one's going to want to spend the night with you. All right, you guys, that's all I got for you. I hope this video has been interesting, educational, entertaining, any of that. 
Um, if you have any ideas, thoughts, comments, please leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you when I can. In the meantime, remember, stay healthy and if you can, stay single.